What's up YouTube? Today's video is gonna be about a do-it-yourself fish food. Specifically, type of food that I use to feed my flower horn. So I've got a bunch of foods here, different types that I go normally. Um, if you know anything about flower horn, you know these are some familiar stuff. But what I found out is while all these are good, I will make my own because I know what's going inside them. Yes, I will grind some of these up and put it in, but let me show you what I'm talking about. So a lot of these foods I've tried out, you know, to see which one's best. Um, this one I actually got from cans, uh, if I can focus, and they're actually too big. So I grind them down. What I do to grind them down is use an old baby bullet. It's what we used to use when my kids were young and we used to make their food. I think we actually only did it like once or twice, but I've got all these ingredients, technically ingredients. Um, today we're gonna add some peas as well. Got my water going, got the water going to blanch the peas. And I'm just gonna fill this up. So let's get to grinding. All right, step one, this is my jar of miscellaneous just dump everything that you're going to mix into your blender I can do this one hand I should have got my tripod but we can do it all right got the big ones so I really like these because these are krill premium krill pellets tossing some of the coxilla Make sure you guys don't get in the little dehydrator packet. Now these are extremely red. Looks like it's got a lot of anaxothen in there. And that will bring out the redness in the fish. All right. Do that. And then, and that looks pretty good. So you can see it's got a blend of miscellaneous. Cap that bad boy. Do it until it's all powder. It's gonna be a few times to get there. But as you can see, it's working and we'll skip ahead to that. All right, so we are back and we got some powder. It's looking good. Let me just check it all out. Actually it looks really good. I use something that we're not going to use anymore because it's kind of gross. So, all right, it's actually really good consistency. Powder, black peas are almost done. Actually, they probably are done. And then, um, I've got Vitachem, had this leftover, um, it's still good but adding vitamins is very important. Normally, before I used to take a vitamin pill, um, I actually only use vitamin C and I'll crush it up uh, almost like a mortar and pestle and then sprinkle in the food because the fish also need vitamins. So, spirulina, they come in a cap, which you wanna get the powder version, little tab like this secret weapon. Boom, you just pop that open, put it in there as well. And then also some anaxithin powder. This is gonna bring out the reds. Spirulina is gonna bring out the purling. Vitamins to make them healthy. And then you've got all the protein, the fat, fiber, everything else they're gonna need. Um, something you can do, which I did before, I gotta check to see if I have any, is break open a done um, a fish oil gel capsule you can put that in as well it gives some nice nice fat content um, if you're doing it for the flower, flower horn the heads a lot of fat in there so more fat the better especially during competition time and I don't think I have any I'm gonna have to go upstairs get some uh, fish oil fish oil capsules that 
we use for ourselves. So let me bring that back. Okay, we didn't have any more fish oil capsules, so we're just gonna proceed normally and then we'll add a little bit extra of the uh, vitamin juice. But I'm looking for a container. So container wise, you're gonna want something with a lot of surface area. Um, because you're gonna make flat sheets. So this is what I have, this is what I've used, and this is, you know, this is just down here in the fish room. So it's only gonna be for this fish food. All right, so got the garlic guard, almost forgot about that. You can also DIY the garlic guard, which I will do after that runs out, and just um, boil some garlic and soak it in some water, leave it in the refrigerator, and you should have pretty much garlic guards. So that um, will entice the smell and the flavor of the food, so 100% your fish will eat it. That's why you want that. All right, so let's do this. I've got my peas. I am going to wait till they cool down or cool them off myself and then pop them in the mixture. All right, peas are in. I kind of just smashed them, used the shells as well. I was debating if I just wanted to deshell them, but I just tossed it in there because I'm pretty sure the shells have the most nutrition to them. So then we're gonna take our powder mix, put in a thin layer. I don't think I'm gonna use all of it. Nice mixture. All right, so flatten that bad boy out. All right, next I'm gonna take actually two capsules. And actually, let me go get my tripod. All right, do this better. Two capsules, pop off the tops, sprinkle it in there. One's done. Two. And then some anaxithin powder. I mean, a lot of food already has it in there, but I like to give it a little extra for that color boost. Just definitely go light easy on it. Probably putting about the same amount as the two capsules of spirulina had in it. Then it's whatever else you want to add. Got the magic powder here. Add some of that. Special sauce. All right, next thing you need, unflavored gelatin. This has got nothing in it. Nothing. All the ingredients is, is gelatin. So it's perfectly fine to use. I'm gonna take one pack. One, I've seen, I figured amount the size, one pack is enough. I've used multiple packs one time, but then it was too hard. Too hard. Pop this open. Spread it in there. Boom. I guess you should mix it now. Right. Make sure it's all mixed in there because now the gelatin is going to harden and you don't want it just to harden on the top layer. You want it to be mixed evenly so all of it hardens. Okay, now it's the liquids. We're going to go with the Vitacam. Put some vitamins in there. Shake up the garlic guard. All right a little bit and it's really potent so you don't need that much that's probably good and then your hot water so before you start you always want to make sure you're getting water boiling because now this is going to mix everything together and activate the gelatin that much looks good now just kind of want to mix everything around if you've got anything to mix with better plan if you want to break down and get in under all those powder caking stuff all right it's a little thick on top so that's a nice soup going on Now 
And once you've got pretty even consistency all around, it's not bad. Maybe a little bit more water on this side. I don't know how much more I can do to make it even. All right, flatten it out. Um, I don't know if a top is necessary, but I just put it on so my fridge doesn't smell. And then pop in the fridge, wait 15 minutes, and I'll see you in a second. All right, that was a little bit longer than 15 minutes, more like 30, because it is a little bit thicker than I did last time. So touching it, and it's pretty much there. I don't know if you can see, it's got a really jello consistency. So what I do normally is I just take one of these plastic spatulas and I'll slice it and half of it goes in the freezer, the other half I will cut into little slivers so it's easy to feed. And then from here you can even cut them going the other way or what I do is I just rip them off. how it is. A little bit weak, it's a little bit thicker, probably go in there for a little bit longer or add another half pack or so of gelatin. Let's feed this guy. That's what you guys have to worry about is that it will cloud your water. The more jello you put in it, the less it will. Done. So always have a nice sponge filter on there or good filtration. And yeah, all that's going inside them. Alright, so let's take a little bit with some peas in it. Definitely their favorite, and I think just having the garlic helps a lot. So yeah, you can already see the dirty water. So yeah, I mean, I would add a little bit more gelatin or a little less of a mix, and then we'll cloud it less. All right, so hopefully you guys learned something today. Thanks for being here. I'll see you in the next video.